Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Ray, and welcome uh, back to the Infected. Today, we are going to be going out and do some looting. I'm going to do one of my hybrid episodes. We're going to go out and do some looting. I'm going to, I'm pretty sure I looted this town, this town, and this town. So I'm going to come all the way up here, and we're going to hit this town and this town. And that'll probably be it, you know, unless they're like really small towns. Some of these towns are like two buildings. So, yeah, uh, I'm thinking this town and this town, and if they're real towns, that'll be it, and then we'll come back and do some work. I'd like to continue working on the de defense. By the way, while I am out looting, I will not have base attacks on. I only want to get attacked when I'm here, so I will turn off base attacks for when I'm out looting. Um, but when I come back, I'll turn them back on. And I went ahead and did off-camera. I put up ghost images of the fencing around the entire base, so it should be pretty good to go. Uh, it's just, we just need the resources, that's all. And, like, going out and doing loot, you know, while I'm waiting for the resources to, you know, get processed and everything, I think is a really, really good idea. So, I'm just gonna put this stuff in here. Okay, so that brings you guys just about up to speed. Now, what am I doing to get ready to go out? Um, well, the only thing I really have to do is have this all set up. This is empty, that's good to go. I will have a backup, uh, gas can. I was thinking about not built, not bringing a gas can. But, because the thing is, I'm going to get gas when I'm out and about, but, man, if I run out of gas before I find a gas can, like, that would just, that would be awful. So I'm not going to take that chance, although I probably could, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, also, I do have a couple of chests set up here. Cement, 320 gold when full. If my calculations are correct, alright, if my calculations are correct, a full box of this is worth 320 gold. Now, I already have 63 gold, so... Um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna worry about selling cement at all until I get two boxes full and As you can tell here. I have been working on it and I will continue working on it So I think that brings you guys up to speed um, I don't think I'm gonna make any of these batteries here. I think I'm gonna wait until I get the good batteries So do I want to yeah, yeah, you know what? There we go All right, cool I'm also going to think about a battery room. You know, at some point, I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to make the actual base. I'm going to have to think about how big I want the, the base to be. I mean, honestly, if I'm thinking like maybe one or two more foundations will probably be good. I got to think about where I want the greenhouse. Like, there's just so much stuff. I don't think I'm going to have the greenhouse in the middle. I think I'm going to have, I think the greenhouse is going to be on one of these platforms. Because I, I think you could put the greenhouse on. Yeah, you can. You could put the greenhouse on platforms. So. That'll be fine. So I think one or two more foundations will be good. Let's see how many foundations we have right now. All right, so that's the corner. So we got, um, not including the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got nine foundations. I'm thinking 11 will probably be all the room. Honestly, nine will probably be all the room we're ever going to need. Yeah, maybe nine. Nine by nine for Direwolf. You guys ever watch Direwolf? Um, used to do videos on, uh, Minecraft. Maybe he still does. I don't know. I don't watch Minecraft anymore, but, um, yeah, Direwolf. Direwolf 20. He, he always loved his 9 by 9 so will a 9 by 9 be enough room? Uh, honestly, I think it might. I might go to 11. There's, there's no way I'm going to go to an even number. It's going to be an odd number. And if a 9 by 9 is not big enough, 11 by 11 or 15 by 15, there is no way in hell I'm doing a 13 by 13. Well... Maybe I should do a 13 by 13. I am I am moving for you guys. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to be moving. And forever, I've always had a fear of the number 13. But we are flying out on the 13th. Okay? So I'm going to take this opportunity to get over my fears of the unlucky number 13. Or, you know, that's how I feel about it. I don't know. Who knows if it's unlucky? You know, in, I was told that in some cultures, 13 is actually a, real, is a lucky number. Like in Italian cultures and stuff. So... Uh, you know what? If I want to make this a 13 by 13, I will. Right now we're looking at a 9 by 9, but I'll probably make it a little bit bigger than that. And here we are. I decided to hit this town first. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Got some enemies in here. So I think I'm just going to kind of clear it out. I don't want to be like... I want to be attacked on my terms, you know? Come on. All right, you're down, and boom. Bleh. Man, you guys messed me up pretty good. Didn't, didn't take a lot of hit points, but give me those infections. Dirty, dirty infections. Okay, fair enough. Now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and come on in here. Uh, and there we go. 
and we will just put this right in. This is a nice town. This is a nice town. I might have a chance of getting two tech out of this place, which would be pretty sweet. Okay, uh, take that. We don't need to empty anything. Uh, take all of that. Um, take that. And take all of that. Beautiful. We're off to a good start here. And what do we have in here? All right. Okay, good, good, good. I like the seeds. You know, they're good. I can make a big farm, and they are extremely... Uh, light the seeds so I'm gonna get rid of some of those bones I don't know I don't feel like I need them you know what never mind Let me get rid of them I'll keep the bone shards because they're they're smaller and I think they're lighter as well oh, there we go tech page cool so I got three tech I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the greenhouse and the water house and what do I want to learn gas Sink, barn, stove, ceiling, fridge. Let's go with the gas. So we need five more tech. Five more tech, and we are good to go. Okay. There. Yes, I want all that. Uh, you know what? I don't really need those that much anymore. Not so much. Care about that. Take that. Alright. This house is complete. And we did the barn. We did the house. Let's check the um, next house. Definitely got to <clears throat> grab the gas. Very good. Grab that. And then we'll put the big stuff in here. And the little stuff in here. Eh, looking good there. Go ahead and eat one of these. All right, very nice. Okay, it's going pretty smoothly now. Eh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I might as well take it. I don't think I don't think we're gonna be taking a lot of stuff, so we should have room for it. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Let's go through here. This is like a textbook on how to do a town. Come in, kill everything. And I'm going through this stuff very systematically and, you know, it's working out for me. Beautiful. Yep, thought I did that. I wasn't sure, though. And, oh, look at this. Look at this purple house. Very good. Very good. Getting some good stuff here, too. Like this isn't just looking for tech pages. This stuff's pretty good. All right. Cool. I'll give me another tech page. I want another tech page, bro. Take all that. Okay. And as usual, if I miss any tech pages, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, some people are saying that I'm leaving a lot of stuff unlooted outside. Honestly, I don't really care that much um, because I'm here mostly for tech. So, yeah, I am leaving stuff unlooted. I, I, I realize that. I just don't care. Like I, I don't mind looting in this game, but I'm not as in love with it as some other people. Oh, more tech. Oh, four more. What should I use that on? Sink, barn. I don't see the barn isn't really... The barn's something I'm going to use later. Um, probably the sink. It'll be easier to get water with the sink. The stove I barely ever I barely ever use. Lamps will be good. Um, well, lamps aren't too bad, but um, fridge is okay too. I think I'm going to go with... I don't know. The fridge wouldn't... Eh, I don't really need the fridge that much. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with the sink. It will be nicer to, you know, have an easier time getting water. Like, now I have to go out and I have to boil all the water. It's annoying. If, if the sink's there, all I have to do is put the sink right next to a, um, a, a, a panel. Um, a, one of those electric panels. What are they called? Our control panel. All I have to do is put this, put the sink next to the control panel. I'm going to have a water house. 
And then I simply go to the water house, turn it on, take two seconds to get the water, turn the water house off. It's going to use barely any power because it'll only be on for like a few seconds. And I get my water and it's it's a lot easier. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I'm, I feel like I did make the right decision there. Okay. Was that two tech I got in here? I'm already, I'm already miscount, misremembering. I feel like I got two tech in here already. Which is good. We'll continue looking though. I think, I think this is the last building, so. Good, good, good. Okay. And I believe that is just about it. Let's go take a look outside. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Very, very systematically just de just completed that town. No problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put down a ghost image of the... Sorry. I'm going to put that... Nope, it's not in there either. Is it in placeables? Yeah, I'm going to put down a ghost image of the log cart. And that will show up on the map. And that means this town is done. So let's do this. And this. All right. I'm going to kill this guy. He's pissing me off. Yeah, boy. Didn't even get a hit off. Chump. That's what you get. All right. The next town we're going to go to is going to be this one. You know, I'm sitting here looking at this place. I'm wondering if I did this town already. Oh, oh boy. Man, bears are no freaking joke, dude. Like, half your hit points are gone. Like, when they hit you. That is rough. That is rough. And I can't even do anything with them. Which is annoying. Alright, let's put this stuff away. And then I'm going to go check out this town. And see if it's, um... See if there's anything in it. I'll just rush in and kill everyone. And then we will take a look around and see what's what. I, I might have done it. I might not have. Not really sure. It looks like a town I've already done. What's up, bro? Nobody else? Okay. Let's see. Uh, maybe I haven't. It looks like a town I've already done, but I think a lot of these towns might be kind of, you know, kind of look the same a little bit. Did he die in two arrow shots? Don't expect that. All right, cool. Let's come on in here. I mean, I could have been here and it might have respawned. That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe I've never been here. I don't know. Either way, we're going to come through and loot it. And see if, if there's no tech here, then that means I've been here and it's just respawned. I could have been here over 10 days ago. Very easily. That's okay, though. We can use the loot. Then I'll have to decide if I want to go to another town or not today. Here. Good. 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 Okay. Alright. And in here. Very nice. Getting some good loot. So even if I have been here before, not really not really overly concerned about it, because this loot is <laughs> though this loot I'm getting is definitely worth it. Okay, over here. Oh, see, I didn't open this door. Um, you know, not that since this door is open, well, none of the other doors were open. I'm thinking the enemy spawned in here because the enemy can open doors. So I'm wondering if the enemy spawned in here and then opened the door to get out. Because I would say, well, this door is open, so I've obviously already looted here. Because if I didn't, you know, how, why would this door be open? Um, it could be open. But then I was thinking, also, none of the other doors were open. So why would only one door be open? That doesn't make any sense either. Whatever. We're getting some dope loot. Who cares? Good. Uh, is there something outside? I just saw something outside. I don't know if it's an enemy running in to get me. Or if it was like a bird or something. Not really sure. Good look. Hey, what's going on over here? 
Yeah, it was a bird. That's what I thought. I figured if like they would have gotten in by by the by that time. All right. I think we're gonna do another. Uh, I think we might do another town. Let's take a look at the. Uh, make sure this is over. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in there, man. Holy moly. So is there no gas barrels in this one? I don't see any. Okay. I think we're good. Let's take a look. Uh, first of all, let's put down a marker, which is why I don't know if I've been here or not, because I never put down a marker when I was here originally. Here's a gas can. All right, so let's take a look. Um, do you want to go up here to this town? You know what? I think I do. We are at the next town. And we're going to shoot this guy. Beautiful. Okay, these guys are tougher than these guys, I think. That's why I usually try and kill them with range. There we go. Grab you. I'm going to pick some more arrows. Probably a, probably a new bow. My bow has got to be almost dead. So. All right, cool. Let's bring this. Actually, we could probably just leave that where it is. This looks like a pretty small town here. Uh, arrows. Down to 24 arrows. Grab that. Oh, you know what? I'm grabbing that as well. Looks good there. Uh. Nails, animal fat. Wow, this is two houses? This ain't a town? What the hell? <laughs> two freaking houses? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, it is what it is. Go. Alright, very good. And you take all that. I mean, I am kind of filling up on stuff. I just want to get more tech, you know? I mean, maybe we can still get a tech here. I don't know. A house this small? I'd seriously doubt it. Nothing there. Yes. Yes, yes. Take all that. No, I don't think there's any tech. I don't think there's one tech in this town. Oh, apparently this is full. That. Take that. And drink that. Let's take a quick look outside, but I think we're probably done with this town. I think I'm missing tech. I thought you're supposed to guarantee tech in every town. I guess not. I mean, like I said, this doesn't really feel like a town, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Oh, well, we didn't look in here. Who knows? You never know. Yep, well, there you go. Cool. All right, very good. What would we like to learn next? Barn, stove, lamp. Honestly, I kind of want lamps. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'd really like to get some, you know, electricity. I mean, fridge is good, but don't really need it right now. Stove, I don't care about at all. Barn technology, is that's going to be in the future. I'm not doing that right now. So, yeah, I think lamps are the way to go. And then that way I can make proper lighting in my base. Although, until the update, the lighting will contribute to hordes attacking me, but that won't be for very much longer. Thank goodness. Alrighty, I think we're done here. Um, it is time to head home. And here we are back at base, and I went ahead and restarted the game, put base attacks on. Although the noise value, the noise value just clicked over, so um, we might not see a base attack today. But you know, that's okay. We're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna get this fence done today. <laughs> Question mark. I don't know. Maybe. Probably. I think I have a shot at it. We'll see. Let's see. Let's just get to work here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get base attacks, so I can't just, you know, weigh myself down. Um, because, that, like I said, that noise value just ticked over, but I could just see them maybe still coming in. Uh, because I started the game between, you know, when the base when the base attack would have happened and when, the you know, it would have said it was going to happen. I don't feel comfortable making myself overweight because I, I don't know. I don't know. Just like in real life, except food is so good. Not my fault, man. Stop making food so good. You people that live in America, and I, I'm talking to people that live in America. Well, I don't know if I should ask this because you're kind of outing yourself as overweight. If you live in America and you're overweight and you don't mind talking about it in in the comment section, let me know. Would you, if you could, if you could go back in time and make it so America did not have like the best food? You know what I mean? Like, no more McDonald's, no more Wendy's. All the places that you could go to would all be salads and, 
you know, um, healthy foods and stuff like that. Would you go back and, and set it up like that? Or like, would you wish that to be, or, you know, there's a part of me that feels like if you don't like say no to the food, you didn't earn it. It's not as rewarding to be thin. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like if it's a health issue, <laughs> which being overweight is, then, um, maybe, maybe you shouldn't have a choice. I don't know. I I'm all about choice, but for me personally, if I could go back, like, before I'm born. So I don't know. Because the thing is, you won't know how good the food is. Let's say you go back before you're born and you make it so there's no more McDonald's, no more anything, only healthy food. And then you're raised in that environment. I don't think you would mind. I don't think you would care. Because you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know McDonald's. You wouldn't know, you know, the chicken place and, and, Jer and Jersey Mike's and, and um, you know, Taco Bell and stuff like that. So if you don't, if you don't know, you're not going to miss it. So I don't know. I don't know. But food is good, though. So who knows? I, maybe I've got an addictive personality. Maybe if I didn't get addicted to food, I would have gotten addicted to some kind of substance abuse. I'd have a substance abuse thing. I don't know. Um, I grew up, I've, you know, I've drank, I've done like drugs and stuff. They never once have I ever even been close to thinking I would need drugs. Like I just never cared. But food on the other hand, food's a different story. So I'm just kind of curious on what you guys think about it in the comment section. All right. I got to cook up a bunch of iron. So let's do that now. All right, we got to cook that stuff. We've got that right there. That's looking good. We'll just kind of put this in here. All we need now is iron ingots. While that's cooking, I think I will work on the gate. And I think the gate is logs and copper. Okay. Logs and copper. I have a log. Yeah, there it is. Log cart. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and take care of this. Cool. All right, and we just need some copper now. Wee, wee. Uh, copper. Was it four? Four. I'll leave that gate open, you know, unless a horde's coming in. So there we go, and there's the gate. Wait, what am I? Oh, one log. What the hell? Those things hold twelve or eleven. I thought it holds twelve, but I don't know. Maybe it only holds eleven. So there we go. The gate is finished. Let's cook up some iron. I've got pretty much all the iron cooked up that I possess, that I have in my possession. So hopefully this will be enough to fill that, uh, to finish that fence, we'll see. We won't know until we try, so let's, um, I'm gonna just kinda dump a bunch of stuff in here. I don't wanna keep coming back here. So a bunch of, dump, bunch of iron in there, gonna dump a bunch of iron in here, that's full. Then this one needs to be full, and then I carry as much as I can before I am encumbered. There we go. And there we are. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish this thing. Let's do it. I think we're going to be able to do it. So it's only three in each. There we go. Beautiful. I will not be putting the spikes on the outside until the next base building episode. And like I said, I will put them backwards because someone was saying, like, you put the spikes backwards and. And that allows the um, the little guys to, you know, get caught on the spikes. But the big guys who, uh, the big guys will just destroy the spikes in one hit. So you don't want them getting caught on it. What the hell? Did I not put in, I didn't put any iron fragments in that one. Okay. Fair enough. Must have missed a couple here and there. Damn. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough iron for this. I can't believe how much freaking iron this takes. Like, I don't know. I might get, I might have enough iron, but it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Damn close. One in that one. That one in that one. This right here, um, I just kind of put this one inside of the other one to make it fit properly. And we're, yeah, we're out again. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go back and grab whatever. Um, this is gonna be tough, man. I don't think we're gonna have enough. Uh, it's just a bit. It depends on if I like have the time today to continue playing till I get enough. Can't stop to get enough. Burp, 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 burp. Something get enough. I don't know how that song goes. All right, and you and you. Man, I can't believe how close this is. All right, we have enough. Wow. I have four iron left. 
Or you can't see, but I'm holding up my four fingers. Like the four horsemen. Just it's almost the apocalypse of me not finishing the, the freaking fence. Let me go ahead and get the um uh get the rest of the fragments and finish that part of the fence, and we are done today. Alright. Fragments. That's good. Put those right there. Awesome. Awesome. Between this and next episode, I'd like to get a couple more mixers up and just keep banging out that cement and everything. And um, we'll, you know, I'll probably do a building episode next episode because I want to be here for base attacks. I want the base attacks to come in. They will break these fences, by the way. One fence, you're not going to be able to kill them fast enough um, before they, you know, destroy them. So you got to double up the fence or you can put in some, um, some spikes, which I will do at some point. So, as a matter of fact, let's just uh, kind of lay down some spikes right now. Placeable other. No, it's construction other. So, th this is the way you're supposed to put in the spikes, but I was told to put them in backwards. And I was told the uh, small guys will walk right over them. And the big guys will. And you, I guess you kind of put them a little bit farther away. Maybe like, um, I don't know. Like, maybe right about here. And then here and there. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Yeah, I don't know. Is that is that the way they're supposed to go if anyone's watching who like knows how this works? I'm pretty sure that's the way they're supposed to go. Well, we will find out in a future episode. I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.